good day class today this brief video tutorial is going to tell you something about the art of giving instructions it might seem simple to you but in fact there's a lot that needs to be taken care of so that you can give the right instructions to get the job done properly now there are some practical guidelines i'd like to give you but before that i would like you to pause for a moment and consider the difference between guidelines and instructions so to put it simply what are guidelines guidelines are general instructions or general advice that you give someone to remember while performing any task whereas specific instructions are usually a step by step process where you walk through somebody to successfully accomplish something therefore now as i begin instructing you on giving instructions i would like you all to bear these guidelines in mind first of all when you give instructions take care to be clear precise and very direct now why is this important because there are times when you might have something in mind but not communicated clearly to your audience in which case they would be misled therefore at all levels remember how much your audience knows and never assume that this must be common knowledge for everyone for that reason it is any day much better to give a lot of tiny minute instructions rather than too few because you don't know what critical step might be ignored and what could potentially cause a problem for, for someone who's trying to follow your instructions in this process try and use pictures wherever you can to try and tell your reader where they need to point or what they need to identify because you need to think from the shoes of a person who literally does not know how to accomplish the task you have in mind for this reason also it is important that you avoid giving them any unnecessary or irrelevant information just tell them enough information that they require in order to carry out what they need to carry out don't be giving them unnecessary lectures finally you might assume that by following your instruction people would get everything right but the person who is following your instructions would not know if something is going wrong and they wouldn't even be able to trace back their steps to figure out where things went wrong so reassure your reader at every step regarding what is the intended result of every action they do this works as a sort of positive reinforcement for the person following your instructions it is like those tiny wins that keep them motivated to continue with the task so these are some of the practical guidelines i want you to bear in mind let's say you have a recipe that you need to give someone do not start straight away with the first step to be done make sure people have all the requisite material or requisite arrangements properly at hand before they begin the task so let's say if it's a recipe list the ingredients necessary if it's a software installation tell them what has to already be on their system like the required configuration and the hardware requirements and so on if it's an official procedure let's say state up front what are the possible documents evidences photocopies and things that they would require in order to complete the task don't make people run around in the middle of a task which is what leads them to lose motivation now just to 
illustrate the dangers of improper instruction i have added some memes there i'm sure you're also familiar with times when you gave incomplete or improper instructions assuming background knowledge on behalf of the person who is listening to you and you know how disastrous that could have been so at all times be very careful about what you say be careful to avoid saying irrelevant things and be straightforward simple clear and precise i hope you enjoy some of the exercises that will follow before we proceed further i would like to finally add for you this one effective format when it comes to giving instructions for any technical procedure now if you need to help somebody install a new software the system that works best to give this particular instruction is to mention the location on a screen or on a phone or on a particular website or wherever the reader has to start point them to the location at which they need to perform a specific task or a specific action in order to produce a certain result so let us say you can say log in to gmail to somebody who is familiar with gmail the same instruction cannot be given to somebody who is not you know computer literate so suit your directions to your reader and follow this format of location action and result location tells them where to go action tells them what to do and the result tells them that they have done the task correctly and achieved exactly what was intended to be achieved now with this in mind i hope you will like doing the exercises here there are some questions for you to reflect on after completing both activities now it's time to go ahead 